Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the Third, Part One, Episode Number Twenty and Twenty One Reaction. All right, uh, the previous two episodes, uh, Episode Number Eighteen, uh, it was uh, the episode where Rupan and his crew go in in a beauty contest where in in front of us the beauty contest was like a normal beauty contest but but in 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 the background uh they were actually smuggling um artwork by you know like uh by using the beauty contest as like a fake you know like thing and uh like you know like in, in that that thing like rupan and his crew goes in and he uh, like you know he's able to use you know that situation to his advantage kind of involves Zenigata as well <laughs> to kind of like you know make use of him to get uh like you know the uh what do you call it all the artworks easily and just like you know runs away and by the end of it Zenigata is able to capture the smugglers but unfortunately not Rupan but at least you know he got something out of it like you know he might get a promotion <laughs> So yeah, that was episode 18. Episode 19 um, was um, a new character, Officer Ganimard, I think. Uh, he is someone who was also like the third generation. And that's why, like, you know, since, uh, like, you know, Zenigata, Ganimard and Rupan, they're all like, you know, ancestors of someone great. Um, like, you know, they, like, you know, they kind of like, you know, started, uh, you know, fighting again, not fighting, but kind of like, you know, started go getting into a competition where Rupan was like, I need to get my grandfather's stuff back while Ganimard and Zenigata were trying to get him. And since both of them were police officers, they were like, you know, kind of like making this like a whole contest between them. Ganimard was like, oh, Zenigata, you have been trying so long to get Rupan, but you aren't successful. Let me show you how to catch thieves. And like, you know, they, they kind of like, you know, start <laughs> squabbling and just like, you know, like uh, fighting against each other, like, you know, making this like a whole competition. While Rupan kind of, uh, like, you know, he fails multiple times, but by the end of it, he is able to get away with the stuff. While um, <laughs> Ganimard and um, Zenigata, both of them, like, you know, lose, like, the contest, you can say that. So, yeah, Rupan is the winner here. And I, I, I think Rupan being the winner at that, uh, like, you know, uh, episode was good because, you know, it, it actually involved his stuff, you know, his grandfather's stuff and everything. So yeah i think that was a, a better like you know outcome so yeah let's see what these two episodes brings so this is episode number 20 of rupan th the third part one so i'll be putting the subtitles on the time i hear sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> all right we are almost at the end of part one aren't we this is episode 20 so how many episodes three more episodes no 20 21 22 23 yeah if you include this four more episodes so one more week after this <laughs> all right let's see okay again Zen is Zenigata involved again hmm the real Lupin I don't think the real Lupin would say something like that this is not Rupan, I, I don't think so. Wait, is that really Rupan? Why is he writing the real Lupan then? Like what? <laughs> Thanks, so the real. Oh my god.
the the hand reminds me of Lupin, the hairy hand, you know. <laughs> wow, what is happening? Catch the phony Lupin. There you go. Nise Lupin no Sukamaero. The real one would not say something like the real Lupin. Oh damn. The real Lupin. Oh god. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sure the actual Lupin has heard, like, you know, someone faking the whole thing. Hmm. Damn, it's a lot of security. Hmm. Okay, let's see how this. Oh my god. Wait, is that... Oh god. Oh, there you go. Who is this guy? Like, why would someone want to... He can just... Doesn't he have a, like a... What? What's he going to do? Swing? Like Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Hmm. Oh my god. He's... Cut the rope. Okay, yeah, that. Okay, he's still in the middle of it, so. Wait, what? Wait, was that really a. No, what? Oh, Substitution Jutsu, okay. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? You're not Rupan. Oh, they... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, who is this? But I was not tricked, you know? No one writes the real Lupin. Like, who writes that? Like, what? <laughs> potatoes! Oh, those are tangents? I thought those were potatoes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright. Damn! Yeah, obviously. <laughs> what is <laughs> Wakamatsube. Oh, this place this looks like a nice vacation spot, you know? Yeah. Like the hideout of the... Jinbei What? It's like rat Wait a minute Are these like, are they like helping them or something? I think so Or no, wait Eh! <laughs> the real one is here <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> I 
the prize. <laughs> you f yeah, you c wait. You don't know him. You're using his name. Ishikawa Daisuke. Wait, he doesn't even know the face of the guy who he's using. What? What the hell? What? What the hell? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who does does stuff like this, that's not a cop. What? Okay. <laughs> what game? You have to jog up or something? A rolling wall. Um uh, what type of a test is this? Oh, we have to run. Okay. Hmm. Down? <laughs> Wait, isn't he also going to get caught up in this? Oh, never mind. The things he has to do. Wait, what the? Uh, um, okay. Um. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Ah. The things you have to do. Oh my god, what is this guy? Some kind of superhero? Like, it's like topping the boulder with one hand. Oh my god. Um. What are the random birds? Okay. <laughs> it 
Is this part of Lupin's plan? I don't know. <laughs> Question is how to do it, okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what? Okay. Well. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> exactly, you know? Rule line. Thieves rule book. Oh, maybe it's written by his grandfather, by Arsene Rupan. I think so. 36. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, that's why they're using his name. Okay. Wait, what? Oh my god, Zenigata. Zenigata here? Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Yo! Damn! Yeah, come on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> These guys are ninjas. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. True. Oh. Oh God. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no. The ruse is up. <laughs> Great. Look at his determination. What? You guys are... Oh my god. These guys were just saying that Asan Rupan is such a great and now he... Oh. Uh, with that thing, okay.
All right. Oh, he's doing walkie talkie. <laughs> oh, is underneath that? Okay. Ceiling. All right. There you go. <laughs> Wait, they kept it over there. I guess they did not have enough time to. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow. That's Rupan in disguise. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> mm, yeah. Police intel. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, is, is this a trap? Is this a trap? I feel like this is a trap. Oh no, this is a trap. This might be a trap. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Kill this. Just there, chilling. <clears throat> oh. Oh, what was that? Well, obviously, it's, he took it. Wait, what? Who was that? Oh, okay, they just left, okay. <laughs> no, wait, who are they following? Oh! Okay. Oh no, Zenny? Oh no. Put on the mask again. Okay, what to do now? They're trapped. Oh God.
<coughs> Where's Zeni Gazam? Oh, he's still underneath, I think. Yeah, like this? Okay. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, damn. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, his hand's strong. Oh my, he dropped it. Great. Wow. <laughs> okay. Right, you know what, in this episode I was thinking maybe these people will be like, you know, after they get to know that this is Rupan, they'll be like, oh, like, you know, like, the, like, you know, the, the great Arsene Rupan's grandchild is here. Uh, we made a mistake by, you know, like, uh, you know, kind of capturing him and putting him in prison. So, I thought they were going to say something like that and... I don't know, like, they're, they're, at least they're going to, like, you know, show, give him the respect because he is the grandchild of Arsene Lupin. But no, they're like, oh, let's just take care of him. Like, I'm like, what, what is happening? Like, you guys respect Arsene Lupin, so shouldn't you at least be like, you know what? Yeah, this is uh, that Arsene Lupin's grandson. Let's not, like, you know, mess with him or let's not just bother him uh and ask for like an apology like yeah we did not uh, realize that it was actually you so like i was thinking like yeah that would be the way this is going to go but no like i'm i'm i was really surprised at that scene especially when when one of the guys were like oh let's take care of him then like, what like a few seconds ago they were like you know they were saying like oh the great arts and rupan like you know such a great person like they were act, like you know they're talking as if like he was like uh Asan Rupal was was like their I don't know something like their mentor or something like that and like, giving him the respect but yeah I I don't know like that 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 was really weird but I guess they obviously they respected Asan Rupal not his grandson I understand that but still you know I don't know <laughs> anyways okay another thing which was very unusual is that they were actually using Rupan's name where they didn't even know how he looked like. Like, the basic thing you can do is like kind of research on the person who you're um, disguising as. But no, like, that's another thing. Like, this really shows how they cut corners in, in their job, you know? Like, they, they were like, you know, successfully um, stealing the stuff. But still, they were cutting corners at it. Like, for example, they didn't even know who Rupan was while they were actually using his disguise. And even, uh, like, you know, in the end, like, you know, writing the name, the real Rupan. So these things, like, these guys, like, we, we saw, like, you know, these guys were pretty talented. They were pretty strong and they had a lot of skills. But, yeah, like, obviously that, that doesn't, like, you know, make you a master thief. Like, Rupan kind of showed us that. You know, he said that, even if you have skills and everything, this is needed. <laughs> so, okay. All right, so this episode here, uh, in the beginning, we see um, different, like, you know, stuff being uh, stolen by the real Lupin. Now, who even writes something like that? I don't know. Like, you know, like, whoever, like, like someone, if, if you write your name, will you even write the real, you know, your name? No, no one does that. Like that, that obviously was like one of the biggest uh, hints that, yeah, this is some fake Rupan doing this. Uh, and, but obviously Zenigata like, and everyone was convinced that this is a real Rupan because like, you know, the, all the techniques that he was using and everything that was very like, you know, Rupanesque, just like Rupan uses them. And <clears throat> so. Okay, so like the, the latest uh, robbery that the, this guy did, the fake Rupan did, is the robbery of that, that crown thing. And we kind of see there how he, like, you know, goes and robs the place. Like the, the main person <coughs> was in disguise with the cigar. And 
<coughs> uses that cigar as like i don't know some kind of smoke comes out of it and uses that opportunity to grab the crown and run away uh, the alarm was uh started but still he was somehow able to get away from that situation and uh, i don't know where the hell he got that dummy like you know robot from the robot or the dummy from which kind of fell down from top you know when he was kind of uh climbing the rope and going away where the hell was that like he himself was just climbing the rope i don't know where that came from like weird ninjutsu <laughs> that was like a weird ninja jutsu like what is that like where the hell did that come from what what is he doing substitution jutsu like that falls from the sky and he's gone from there and <laughs> and then we see like on the truck that he's going like you know escaping with Tupan was underneath it and uh, yeah they go to the island now here's where i thought like you know this part i thought like this was going to go in a different direction i thought that okay this is like an island there like i'll run like you know villagers living in that island as well i thought that wait a minute maybe this guy is actually stealing stuff uh to like you know like help these people or something like that you know like these people may be poor or something you know maybe they need a lot of money and that's why you know like these people are actually going and stealing stuff and giving the you know the money to them for their you know like uh, for their improvement and all i thought like okay wait a minute maybe this is going to go in a wholesome direction no it did not nothing wholesome about that situation because the people in the island the villagers were also like him like they were all like like living in money but still they were like yeah we need to uh, steal more stuff like like they were i guess they were so rich that they were just stealing stuff bringing them there and just hanging them on the walls and everything you know the, the paintings and all everything was there and there's just like you know they're lavishly living their life over there i'm like nah this is nothing wholesome like i thought like it was going to go in a wholesome direction maybe they are you know like stealing the stuff and like you know earning money from there and helping the poor people or something you know helping these people uh to you know to to live everyday life or something something like that i thought it was going to go nah it was not like that obviously N nothing like that <laughs> okay and then rupan comes in and as always these guys did no research they looked at rupan and they're like who are you and like, i'm like what you, you you're writing the real rupan underneath all of your letters and you don't even know who how he looks like like my god okay um <laughs> now <clears throat> okay um rupan gets captured and uh at least they were like you know they just didn't throw him in the prison they were like okay you have to prove yourself and unfortunately that's like you know the, no thief needs to do that like the the thing that they were doing you know like running from on top of the mountain like a boulder was coming <clears throat> i doubt you need that amount of training you know as Rupan said, like skills are important, but this is more important. And <clears throat> yeah, and this guy, like the, the guy who went on top, he was just jumping on top of the uh, boulder while rolling down, like some kind of, like, you know, I don't know, like, like I guess he, he probably like did gymnastics or something, probably something like that. That's why he was so fle flexible and everything. But yeah, like, okay, wait a minute. What did they say? Like, they're like from the Vikings and the pirates? Just a second, let me check where is that part um all right i cannot find it okay here we go An island of thieves we come from a long line of vikings wait what what he says that we come from a long line of vikings who are the king of pirate king of pirate what this is weird viking vikings are not the king of pirates like what what are what are they saying i have no idea what he was saying there oh my god anyways let's leave that like he's saying that the vikings are the king of pirates like what does that even mean like vikings and pirates are different like i i do understand like yeah vikings kind of like you know looted and pillaged 
uh, you know, like places like they, you can call them pirates, but pirates and Vikings are different, obviously. Like, what is he even saying? I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, like some random, like, you know, things. And I guess these people were pretty skilled. Like we did see random villagers were also jumping like a ninja, you know, on top. <laughs> so yeah, all of them were pretty skilled. But anyways, uh, you know, like Rupan goes through that, uh, that thing that the exercise or the test that they gave him through. And obviously, like, who can even do that? Uh, he was injured and he just was thrown into the prison. And Rupan is like, all right, let's start my actual job now. And <laughs> the way he actually got out was pretty impressive. I was, I was not expecting something like that. He, he made it as if he hanged himself, but obviously it was not. It was just the angle, like, you know, he used the rope here and tied it in his, in his stomach. But from the backside, from his behind, you thought that, oh, he, he hanged himself, but it was not that, it was something else. So yeah, they get in and obviously Rupan, you know, like, uh, makes, you know, knocks them out. And through the chimney, he goes in and here he listens to the different pe the, the people talking. And here he gets to know about the thieves rule book, which is something that his grandfather wrote. And he, like, you know, the people were saying, we've survived this long by following it to the letter. Now, this guy says that we have survived. Oh, I think they were talking about survived from the police. Okay, maybe, yeah. Like, I was thinking, like, why is he saying, like, survived? Like, uh, these guys are not, like, you know, what can I say? These guys are not, uh, like, poor. You know, these guys are living very lavish lives. Like, they, are, they, they have so much money, they're just hanging on the, like, you know, the, the paintings and everything, which, uh, which has, like, you know, like, which, if sold in the black market, it would fetch a hefty sum. So, it's just hanging them on the uh, walls. So, obviously, it's not that, yeah, they are surviving, you know. No, they're pretty well and good here. But from now that I think about it, he's not probably talking about that. He was talking about surviving from the police, I think. Yeah, probably that. <clears throat> okay, now, Rupan, um, Rupan realizes that this is actually his grandfather's book. And he thought things that, yeah, I need to get this from them. Okay. Okay, one thing. Here we go. The old lady says, Arsene Rupan was a man to be admired. I was only a young girl back then, but I remember him very well. Okay, so this, obviously this lady knew, like, you know, not knew, but saw Arsene Rupan. And she's saying that, yeah, you know, like such a great person and everything. Now, here's again, here I thought that, wait a minute. So these people actually respect Rupan. So maybe if actually they realize that the person they have caught is Rupan's grandson. So maybe, you know, the, they'll be like, oh, you're the great Rupan's grandson. I'm sorry. We are sorry. Like, we did not know. And actually treat him better. I thought it was going to go in that direction. But no. Like, what? Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. So then we get to see, like, you know, Zenigata comes in with the police force. And these people are like, all right, time to change everything. Jumps like a ninja from like, you know, and hangs from the rope in the ceiling. And the whole place goes, gets like, you know, revamped completely. Like it was like all like, you know, shiny stuff here and there. All the expensive stuffs were hanging there. It just go underneath. And now they're like in, uh, you know, broken down place, you know. And okay, now Zenigata comes in and Zenigata is like, all right, uh, we got our information that Rupan is here. This and that, and they start searching everything. And <clears throat> the, the villagers are like, wait a minute, let us just wait, let him go away. And uh, yeah, just, you know, like we'll then like take care of Rupan. Like, because Zenigata uh, showed him the Rupan's picture. And as I said, this part really kind of like, you know, surprised me because as soon as they realized that was Rupan, they're like, oh, we need to kill him. Like what? Just a second ago, you were like talking about Rupan's grandfather, like some sort of, like, you know, uh, amazing person. 
and now you are saying like oh we need to keep kill off his grandson like that's very weird i don't know but i guess like you know because probably because rupan got to know their secret that's why they were saying that yeah we need to kill off rupan but anyways um yeah zenigata like you know starts <laughs> spending the night here and rupan actually now here's what rupan does he does two things number one he kind of makes zenigata realize what is happening here everything all the smuggled goods and everything are over here you know not smuggled but stolen goods are here and these people are uh, thieves he makes zenigata realize that so that you know like he can take care of them rupan doesn't have to take care of them so that zenigata can take care of them that's number one the number one thing that he does after making him realize that he makes him fall into a trap where <laughs> where he like you know kind of shifts the whole room again and zenigata goes underground so like in this way he kind of did that so that number one he knows that all the people here are thieves number two you know he's trapped so he isn't able to do anything unless and until rupan takes his revenge and you know that's what rupan does and then rupan takes zenigata's disguise comes out uh and like you know in the morning and says that oh rupan is like you know, left a letter this and that he's going to steal the book and just made them wait for a long time keeping the book as like a bait and when time came he he probably went there used that smoke bomb take took the book put it in his like you know <laughs> jacket or something and started shouting and saying oh it's gone and everyone's like oh rupan was here and everyone just leaves and sees the motorboat going away and they're like oh rupan must be there and just follows it while it was just remote controlled and rupan takes off his disguise and he's like ah got him and but here's something kind of goes a little bit wrong different um the police comes in as well so he ha has to like you know improvise the situation he uses the the hawks i think as like <laughs> uses them as like a flying whatever and uses them to escape the island now obviously zenigata comes like you know he's obviously you know comes out and zenigata <clears throat> uh realizes that rupan is gone but he knows that these people are thieves so all the thieves are captured and rupan is just gone so yeah like that kind of worked out well by the end of it unfortunately rupan dropped the book in the in the ocean like my god you're, you're not getting it back i doubt he's getting that back again like the ocean is huge like what are you supposed to do <laughs> so yeah that was how it went um it was kind of weird actually seeing rupan doing solo work you know because like in every i think in every rupan uh, movie or you know uh episode I've seen. I don't remember any episode where Rupan was solo. Even if he worked alone, at least Jigen was always with him. But I think this is the first time we actually. I don't remember if there's any other uh, episode like this before. But this must. This probably is the first episode where he is actually solo. No one's there with him. No one. And but uh, Zenigata is here, but he's not helping Rupan out. He's against him so yeah that doesn't count but yeah so yeah that was it like i guess you know it kind of worked out those people won't um again bother rupan anymore hopefully they'll be in prison uh but yeah he did not get the book that's a shame but still you know, kind of worked out on his favor so that was it that was uh, episode number 20 so let's see episode number 21 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go hmm Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Okay, let's see. Hmm. What? Who is that? Is that Fujiko? What? No, that's not Fujiko. Hostage? Wait, what? That's your hostage? Okay. Oh. Ken. Oh. Rie. <laughs> Rupan's just there. <laughs> Rupan the Great. <laughs> oh. Yes. He's taking you hostage. Oh my god. Okay. Damn. Oh! Yeah, rescue the tomboy. Jaja uma musume wo tasuke tasuke. Okay. <laughs> okay, this should be interesting. <laughs> Alright. Client is here. Not client, sorry, victim. Yep. Hmm. Oh, she's coming around. Oh my god, here we go. Wow. Yo! Come. Oh, God. Duck! They're using shotguns? Wow. <laughs> Why the hell are they using shotguns to... Nice. There you go. That's what you get. For using shotgun guns at a long range. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Yo. Oh my god. Yeah, he... Okay. Oh my god. This is not a tomboy. This is this is a mo oh my god. Oh. Wait, didn't don't doesn't he she realize that her dad is actually what? <laughs> and Rupan has amnesia now. <laughs> oh great. Oh, returning a favor. Oh. Wait, really? Dad's partner's daughter. Safe cracker, okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this guy, yeah. George Takigawa. Oh. That's why he's taking her hostage. Oh. 
Oh god. Oh boy. What the? Oh god, wait. <sighs> Yeah. Oh. Forever. Find her. Oh my, is she the... uh, I'm at a random cabin. Ah, ah. Wait, did he? Did she call Zenigata or something? Oh my god, she probably called the police. She's she's in, inside the hay, I think. Wait, what? No, I think that's that's her boots. That's her boots. <laughs> Yo, this girl is crazy. My god. Wait, who? Okay, that's Jian. Where did they get the food from? Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, calm down. She doesn't know. Oh my god, yeah, she called the police. <laughs> Don't leave her alone, she's going to do something. Ah. Wait, what? Why? Oh, I guess, okay. <laughs> Um, uh, no, you're not. Uh, uh always like, oh, is a helicopter and a tractor. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh, police is here. You cannot shoot now. But oh yeah, this is also not good. Okay. Oh, yo. <laughs> you know what? Give her to Zenigat. I think that's. Oh no, but are these people crazy? They're shooting at the police. Yes. Oh no. Oh, he's inside that. Why are you letting her? Oh no. She might pull the brake or something. Great. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. That makes it better. Great. What the hell? Are they like landing on? No. 
Oh, okay. That's a dummy. <laughs> yeah. Come on, get in. You're going to get a surprise. Wow, these guys are stupid. These guys are stupid. <laughs> oh! Um... <laughs> Wait, is he underneath? Oh my god. Oh yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Just, yeah, detach it. <laughs> uh, no one's gonna help you. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, she probably understood, like... Why does she have Fujiko's voice actor? I think that's Fujiko's voice, isn't it? Hmm. Ah. <coughs> uh. Oh no, Zenigata is here. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yep. Yeah, you need to get out. Get out of the train. Or oh, wait. Oh. Or. Oh my god. Yeah. <coughs> oh, they're going to jump. <coughs> Ramming through them. Oh, what? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I, I can okay. Oh! Oh boy. Here we go. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god, it got dirt. Oh no, no. Damn! Yo, yeah! Um... <laughs> wow! Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I think you should probably try to stop now. Pull the brake or something. Okay, okay, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Army. 
Oh my god, what the hell? What is this? GTA? Like Rupan <laughs> crossed the fourth star or something or the fifth star? Wanted star? Okay, there they are. Yeah. Mm. I'm pretty sure she she knows now, kind of suspects everything. Mm. <clears throat> oh my god, these people are still trying to. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, oh whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that, that kind of worked out in their favor. Oh. Oh, there's more of them. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Is he underneath? I think. Oh my god. Oh, okay, there they are. Damn, that fall. Okay, there you go. She, she'll know now. Um, <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> Oh, well. Hmm. Ah, okay. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Shut up. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he really shot. Okay. Okay. Oh, what the? My God. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, how, how did he even load that in? You know, how is it possible? Like, that's a huge tree trunk. I don't know, but I guess. Oh my god, here we go. Oh god. Um Yeah. Wait, but Tahira is going to keep coming for her her then. Like that's what's going to happen. Like what's she going to do about that? I don't know. 
Like at least I think it should like hang hand over his uncle. I I don't know. Hmm. All right. She knew. Oh, yeah. He obviously he knew her. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Is she? All right. <clears throat> All right. There, there he is, Dad. Ah. What about the uncle? <laughs> oh boy. And here we go again. No, that's the end. All right. Okay. So, all right, this episode, we get a little bit of Rupan's past from here. Um, what, not, no, not Rupan's past, Rupan's dad's past, yeah, you can say that. Rupan the second's uh, past. So, <clears throat> we get something of that. Now, <clears throat> here we meet a new character, Rie, and she is in the obviously in, in in the ranch where his uncle her uncle took her in and keeping her as a hostage as not like you know like at the beginning when she was like you know running with uh, like, you know uh, riding the horse i was like what what type of a hostage is this but then i realized it's not a hostage as per se hostage but they were just keeping her there without letting her know that yeah you're a host you're a hostage like, something like that while the dad knew that yeah they are keeping her as a hostage so um rupan was hired for this for getting her out of this place but obviously since Rhea knew nothing about it she's like oh what is happening like you know my obviously my like you know like these people are bad you know my uncle and my dad are the good ones so i need to get out of this situation and that's why she was doing all of that stuff okay now one thing i need to check i think um her voice seemed very familiar. I think it's it's Fujiko's voice actress, isn't it? Or am I wrong? Let me check. Rie. <clears throat> Rie Makita. Um, yeah, that's her name. Um, voice actress. Let's see. Where's what's her voice actress? Okay. Oh my God, my. Oh great. Okay, here it is. Japanese VA, Michiko Hirai. Michiko Hirai. And let me check if uh, Fujiko's voice actress is also. Because. I don't know. Let's see. Fujiko Mine. Um, Japanese VA. 2000. Okay, 11 Miyuki Sawashiro. Eiko Masuyama, Mamiko Yama, Yukiko Nikkaido. No, wait, so am I wrong? But why did her voice so sound, sound so much like Fujiko's voice? Like, let me check. Michiko Hirai. I don't know. I feel like her. Okay. Uh. Okay. Here we go. Michiko. Uh, okay. Rupan three. Jasmine Miss Dracula. No. Wait. So I'm wrong. Like I thought maybe they hired the same voice actress. Uh. You know who did Fujiko for this girl as well. So I'm wrong. This is a different voice actress. But why does their voice sound so similar then? Like it's so similar. Like if like even she looks like Fujiko. She looks completely like Fujiko as well. And like you know, if you actually 
close your eyes and hear her voice, you will think this is Fujiko. So oh, I don't know. So that was my mistake, I think. Yeah, like it, it's probably just me. But anyways, uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, she she obviously doesn't know the whole thing with her dad and everything. So she's like, oh, these bad people are kidnapping me. What's happening? And uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay. So now. <clears throat> Like I thought, like when uh, Rupan was going, to, Rupan said, told her that yeah, your dad hired me. So I was like, what is happening? Why is she like, you know, like since she lo loves her dad so much, like shouldn't she actually like you know listen? Like because Rupan told that her dad has hired him. Uh, but I guess like you know like she she got like you know obviously scared at that moment, and she was like, oh, these people must just be using my dad's name. You know, I think that's probably what she thought that. They just are using my dad's name. Uh, obviously, my dad did not hire them. These people are just bad people. They're, they're bad guys who are trying to get me. And they're just using my dad's name f so that I don't make, like, you know, I, I don't uh, like, you know, do any, make any problems for them. Um, so, yeah, like, <laughs> the way she started flailing about on the car, like, she was just, she was going to kill herself as well at that moment. And, my God. <laughs> And the, the the uncles, like you know, they they're like shooting at her, and <clears throat> not at her, but that the car. So <laughs> that scene was funny where he she scratched off Jigen's eyes, like <laughs> oh my god, that was something. But yeah, she ultimately she kind of stumbles down from the car. I don't know how she was okay. She just whacked herself in in the in the road, you know. Like he, she fell on her back completely. Like I, I thought like she she would have probably gotten like two or three fractures there. The way she fell, like that's not how not how you fall from a like you know like like not like uh, what do you call it like if you fall like that he, he, something's going to happen to you. But she was fine. She just stood <laughs> up and just walked away and yeah okay then we get a little recollection of her dad and um the uncle how the uncle was like all right so yeah um i need you to do some kind of a job for me if you don't your daughter is with me and uh, she's a hostage and uh, yeah that's how they were threatening him him and this guy just wanted to live a peaceful life but obviously your past comes back to you you know like you cannot leave your past behind if it's something like this so yeah it came to haunt him again in the present as well so that's why he uh, hired rupan because if he hired a police number one uh like you know his own thing would kind of go out like everyone will know that he he was like you know rupan the second's uh, partner and that might also make him fall into a few complications as well i think you know like because you know like if the police suddenly gets to know that yeah this person was a safe cracker he's not a safe cracker now he's a normal law-abiding citizen now but he did these things i'm pretty sure he was going to fall into a lot of problems with the police and he probably would have gotten i don't know like probably would have gotten captured or uh like you know sentenced to a few years in prison or something most probably he would have fallen into trouble himself so that as well obviously he did not want his daughter to her, to know and also a few other like you know complications he probably would have fallen into if she he actually went to the police for help so <clears throat> yeah that's why he didn't do that he hired rupan and yeah okay now idea was in in the in the in a cabin in the, in, in the ranch in, in that place i don't know what that place was it was like it was like a little cabin in the middle of the uh, middle of the field, and Rupan and Zeniga, uh, not Zenigata, Jigen also come there. Within that time, he all she already in, in, uh, like you know notified the police, and as always, whatever this Rupan Zenigata is going to come rushing in, and in came Zenigata. He's like, yeah, where's Rupan? I need to catch him. This and that, <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, so now here's where the chase starts now, number one first of all jigen kind of goes away from here now i don't know why but i feel like jigen uh, but i guess okay like i i thought that decision that they took like jigen actually split up that was a wrong decision like why did they split up like you know like especially in this time this time 
were they were in trouble like he just split up to go and notify her dad like i don't know but anyways you know like he kind of goes away from there and uh, rupan and uh wait uh, yeah okay so rupan and the girl was all only left and tries to run away from the police from the uncle all of that the uncle is on helicopter shooting at them uh, zenigata is also there just like you know like you know trying to uh, stop them this and that and they jump up on on in a in a little train train thing they board that and like you know they kind of try to run away like that and here's where all like you know the what do you call it um deception comes out because of those two foolish people those two <laughs> they jump in on the train number one starts shooting rupan and then starts smack talking and saying like oh i never liked this girl you know like we were just uh, like <laughs> you know using her for as a meal ticket this and that and all that stuff starts talking all like that and <laughs> like what oh my god these guys but anyways um yeah that like that kind of worked out well because she got a little hint that yeah something is going on here maybe rupan is right and that kind of made her settle down otherwise she still would have like you know struggled and everything so it worked out well in in their favor i guess and <clears throat> now here's where rupan starts uh, like you know making another plan he, he, he tries to like you know make it seem as if he is the one who's trying to kidnap him her while like you know she's the victim obviously so that like you know no like you know the police don't actually uh start questioning her or something like that if she like acts as a victim you know like as a person who has been kidnapped the police won't ask her much questions you know it's just that but uh if not they would probably like you know try to get and see what her background is what her father does this and that and it would probably bring out the hidden secret that his her dad was a safe cracker of rupa uh asen rupan the second so <clears throat> that's why rupan was trying to make that seem as if he is the culprit here he is the kidnapper he's trying to kidnap her while like you know like and that's why she said that scream as loud as you can like help me and she did not obviously she wasn't able to do that because she herself is kind of getting a little confused and getting a little uh, what do you call it like you know understanding that yeah something is wrong here rupan is trying to like you know help me out while putting him in danger or something like that so he she, she does, not, does not do anything <laughs> rupan mimics her voice and zenigata is like oh yeah that's definitely <laughs> a girl who is in trouble <laughs> my god okay <laughs> oh, yeah, all right okay so <laughs> now they try to stop her stop them and like they, they change the track and they make a huge mistake here the track changes they crash into the logs and they derail fall like you know down the cliff and goes into the forest like it, it would have I would it was a very dangerous situation there. And like thankfully it kind of worked out well, I guess. And uh, uh yeah, like <laughs> they kind of fall into the like you know go into the forest and then fall into the tracks again and then they like you know kind of get out of that situation. Okay, so now in comes tanks, like they have notified the tanks as well like my god like <laughs> but here again the uncle the things that the uncle does also works out in their favor because the bomb that he planted actually helped them out it stopped zenigata from following them and it kind of helped them out you know like rupan and the girl fell down and you know like they got dis like and all the others like, you know got distracted so here's where the girl gets to know about um Rie gets to know about what her dad actually did from the photograph and okay one thing i need to check here who was the other person in the photograph was that their uncle let me check okay so wait a minute so both of them worked for the for 
Rupan the second. That's that's their uncle, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Most probably. Yeah, that's the uncle. So both the uncle and the dad worked for uh Arsen Rupan the second. Okay, okay, and I, I, it makes sense. So yeah, he he gets to know that and she is like, Oh, you're hiding something this and that and she says like oh like you know like i i hate like you know thieves i hate uh people who steal stuff this and that you know so like, kind of saying all of that stuff and he's like oh my dad should have like stayed in paris and starts you know like saying stuff and rupan is like and like you know slaps her and she, he's like yeah don't say like like that if you want to say anything go confront your dad not here not in front of me you know, go confront your dad talk talk with him now okay now here's the thing um like i don't know why she has this like i guess like you know everyone's kind of skeptical about people who steal and like, you know thieves and robbers so obviously she was you know she was brought up and she like you know like just like all people do like, you know she, like the normal what is the normal uh what do you call it like you know like, uh, like you know how do people in people normally see the whole world thieves robbers these people are bad the police are the good people that's like the basic common sense of the world and that's how he she also got brought up and he probably like you know she she, she loves her dad very much obviously we can see from that uh so like like you know listening to this and like you know getting to know that her dad was probably the one person that he thought she thought that she couldn't have been like she's he's a, a safe cracker kind of falls into the same category as thieves she wasn't able to accept that because obviously from the from her childhood she got you know she grew up knowing that yeah these people are bad these police these police officers all of them are good these people are bad against the law and that so associating her dad with like you know as a thief she not thief but like you know a partner of a thief she wasn't able to accept that now now here's the thing i don't know why the dad never told her before i don't get it because you know what i think okay okay i think i understand why her dad never told her anything she probably did he probably did not want to involve her in this world yeah he like you know like uh, yeah that's probably what he wanted to do he did not want his past to come hunting for her but you know what like as i said you cannot ever like you know outrun your past if you have done stuff in your past it's probably going to come back to you one day and especially in these type of professions you know like if suddenly one day lupin suddenly says that you know what i'll leave all my like you know like th like all the thieves like you know all the st stealing stuff that i do i'll leave everything you know i'll become a good person you know um i'm going to get married and have three children you know if rupan suddenly says something like that and he actually does that you know settles down I'm pretty sure his past is going to come back to haunt him one day or the other and not only he will be involved in that even people who are not in, involved in like you know the, this but who are involved with him that is his children they're also going to get affected with that so that's basically what happened here however how much you know like Rupan would try to safeguard his children this is like a hypothetical situation I'm talking about how much like you know like like Lupin tr might try to safeguard his children from all of that but he won't be able to do that it's impossible that's basically what happened here like his dad should have like you know her dad should have thought about that but i guess she he did not because he i'm, I'm pretty sure he probably tried to just cut off from his past and like yeah like let us start a new life you know and did not want her daughter to get involved in this like if he told her daughter you know like yeah this is my past his daughter is going to get involved in his world some way or the other so i think he probably did not want to do that that's why he never told her but uh, but as as the like, kind of came back to him as i said like you cannot run outrun your past and ended up involving her daughter by the end of it so yeah
But at least by the end, you know, like, okay, now then, like, Rupan says that, all right, like, you go to, like, you know, there, uh, to- tell Zanigata that you are just a victim, you know, like, Rupan ran away, and yeah, that's what you do. And by doing that, obviously, like, you know, like, he, he, he made the whole situation where Rupan kind of became the you know, culprit, and she became a victim, so obviously she, like, you know, they won't be questioning her much, she just became an unfortunate victim of the situation. And they won't be, you know, trying, they won't try to get to see what her background is, this and that, that it won't go that much into it. That's why, you know, like as soon as Zenigata heard that, yeah, Rupan has just ran away, he's like, all right, yeah, like, just follow Rupan and told her to go away, go back. That's basically what happened. So that's how he kind of safeguarded their secret. And the dad, hopefully the dad, now here's one thing that I really don't like in this episode. The, the uncle is still there somewhere, just probably like you know blotting more stuff now her dad needs to do something about the uncle number one and somehow like this this thing is going to become a problem later on um and uh yeah unless and until you do something about the uncle th- th- this still will be like keep being a problem and i don't know how i feel about that like it kind of seems like a good ending but the way it ended but then like the uncle is still there now Wait a minute, is this going to continue in the next episode? Because first of all, this ending did not have a preview. And the way it ended, I feel like, the, like you know, it's kind of unfinished because we don't know what happened to the uncle. You know, is he, like, you know he's still not, like, you know, he's not under police, like, you know, he's not being captured by the police, he's still there somewhere. Who knows maybe maybe this will continue in the next episode i don't know if it really continues it'll be kind of interesting like because i don't think they never did this before at least in the first part like you know continuation did they do this no i don't think so so anyways we'll see we'll see in the next episode what happens uh like i wouldn't be surprised if the next episode episode number 22 continues from here but we'll see because the ending kind of is kind of abrupt and weird like I don't know. But anyways, that was it. That was my reaction to episode number 20 and 21 of Rupan the Third Part 1. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. Okay, now here's the thing. Um, obviously, next week will be the final two episodes of Part 1. So I'm telling this now. You know, you guys, uh, like, you know, kind of, uh, what can I say? think about how much ep- how many episodes should i say like each person you know each person i'll say for now two episodes you can comment uh, down two episodes for me to react to from season two and three so total four episodes for every person two episodes from season two the two episodes that you want me to react to and two episodes from season three uh like, you know comment down below not in this uh, like you, know, you can comment in this uh, episode as well uh and not episode so in this video as well in the comment section but the next video that i'll be putting out that'll be the final uh two episodes of rupan the third part one uh you can know, comment there as well like you know what episodes of season two and season three you want me to react to two episodes from season one two episodes from season uh mm, sorry two episodes from season two and two episodes from season three every person can recommend me four episodes like this so i'll do it like that you know like whichever episode you like the best you can recommend me and i react to only those because as i said before like season two and season three are immense more than 200 episodes it's impossible to complete react to all of them so i'm going to do it like that so you can you can like you know kind of uh, think about the episodes that you want me to react to and comment down in the next uh, video next week that I'll be putting out on. So yeah, I'll talk about it in details in that episode. Here I just wanted to mention it to you guys. So yeah, we'll we'll talk about this in the next episode. So that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of Rupan the Third Part 1. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.